Welcome to your instructional guide on properly taking CDI's fructose 62 hydrogen and methane breath test. Watch this video thoroughly and review your instructions for use provided in your kit to ensure you're fully prepared to complete your test safely, quickly, and accurately. Let's start with the preparation. One week before the test, stop using laxatives or pro-motility drugs and any medication or supplement that aids in producing bowel movements. Four weeks prior, stop any oral antibiotics. And remember, no smoking of any kind during the preparation or test day, and no sleeping or heavy exercising right before and during the test. Your test begins with a 24-hour prep period, which we recommend starting in the morning for convenience. For the first 12 hours, follow the specific test prep diet, avoiding grains, fruits, and sugars, among others. Before testing, let's review the contents of your test kit. Your kit includes a straw, substrate packet, six breath test tubes with labels, a bubble wrap packet, a prepaid shipping label, and a requisition form. Be sure to fill out and include the requisition form and other required information when you return your kit. On test day, after fasting, mix the substrate with water, but don't drink it yet. Collect your first breath sample to establish a baseline, label your sample, and then drink the entire substrate mixture. Collect your second breath sample 40 minutes after the first sample. Continue collecting the rest of your samples at 40 minute intervals. The complete test time is three hours and 20 minutes. Once all samples are collected, pack the test tubes back into the kit, seal it with the provided label, and send it back to our lab. Samples must be received within two weeks of collection. You can return your kit via any UPS location, driver, or even schedule a pickup at ups.com pickup. For international returns, please contact CDI for guidance. It's that simple. Thank you for choosing CDI's fructose 6 tube hydrogen and methane breath test. If you have any questions, please refer to the instructions for use included in your kit or contact our dedicated patient services team for assistance by phone or email.